Oh, hey, happy new years. Welcome to 2023. That came real fast, didn't it? But you know why you're here. I know why you're here. What better way to start the year off than talking about some new games that are coming out. So if you want to see what games I think you should get or games that I'm excited for in January of 2023, stick around. But first, like and subscribe. I appreciate everybody that's been showing love to the channel and it's a new year. You're going to keep getting this content out here. Let me know what games you're looking forward to in the comments. Let's get into it. If you know me and you know a bunch of homies in the community, you know that I love roguelike, Hades-like games. And I know that Vampire Survivors was a big hit last year. And there's a game coming out called Lone Ruin on January 12th, 2023. Lone Ruin is a spell-based roguelike twin stick shooter with a bunch of replayability. Um, the player takes control of an explorer searching for mysterious ancient power and you venture into a ruined magical city built on top of a source of magic. So there'll be different spells for you to use and different things in your arsenal to try to beat the game. And you know how these games work. You get a different power up every time you start and you never know what type of uh, build that you can make. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing this indie game. I like games where I can play a different way each run. So let me know how deep you can dive. That sound wild, don't it? Next up, we have a game that I feel all of the retro fans, Castlevania, side scroller all the metroidvania games and fans of the classic 16-bit action games will be happy to jump into revenge of the moon rider is a game about an impressed vengeful guardian after building an army of super soldiers as weapons of war they seal their own face by bringing online a ninja warrior called moon rider in this game you take control of moon rider and if you look at the gameplay it reminds me of things like shinobi shinobi castlevania it's just a classic game where you go around and take out bad guys, side scroll 16 bit goodness. From start to finish, it seems like the action is some good platforming. The pixel graphics and the soundtrack for this one seem like they're gonna be pretty cool. So you'll be able to customize Moon Rider's fighting style and his abilities, but it's also a $16 game. So I definitely think you should check it out. Making his way to PC and PS5 on January 24th and just in time for the 25th anniversary of the manga, it's time to embark on an epic adventure with Luffy and the crew and the Straw Hat Pirates with One Piece Odyssey. And at first, I usually don't be that excited about One Piece games, but this one is an RPG. And apparently, the folks who made Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl developed this. But the game looks beautiful. Looks like we're returning to Water 7. Um, one thing about One Piece is this world building and storytelling has always been good. So combining classic staples of the JRPG genre and elements of One Piece as they voyage across the land line, it's gonna be pretty cool to see Luffy and everybody, the whole crew Zoro, on an adventure that maybe it'll have some elements of the manga and the anime, but either way, I think it's gonna be a good time and it looks like a deep RPG. And that's what I'm really excited for is an anime RPG with characters that I'm familiar with. And maybe we can get some more people into JRPGs. We'll see when it comes out January 13th. All right, so this next game look wild and it might be showing who I am right now. I don't need no funny jokes because I will block you. But definitely not fried chicken. And when you look at this game, you'll see why I'm interested. It's a business management sim with a, with a, with a twist. You're not just selling chicken, but you're also selling drugs, cocaine. You're, you're, it's, it's the best of both worlds. It's, it's The Wire. It's, what's that show? Breaking Bad. Ah, this game looks wild. It's, it's, it looks very creative. Different things is gonna go up, go on. And I love games where you can take control of like restaurants and businesses and see what you can do with them. But this game really taking the dope game by storm, you know. <laughs> This game really does look wild and I really want to see people play this and try it out because who thought of this and why? And I'm going to find out when I play this game when it comes out January 18th. This next game I was really looking forward to and I did not know it was coming out this early. Space for the Unbound is a game set in 90s rural in Indonesia and you follow two high school sweethearts, Atuma and Ryan. And I know that I said their name wrong and I apologize. We're gonna figure it out when the game comes out. It's a slice of life adventure game with like the pixel art, which y'all know I love the way that the art looks in the, it's, it's creative to me. I know people argue about we need graphics and this and that in my opinion, because they're creative with their pixel art and their styles and so much expression, so much color and so much storytelling within this. So. This is also a story about overcoming anxiety, depression, and uh, the relationship between a boy and girl supernatural powers. So, look forward to talking with the town folks, 
you can uh, read people's mind like Inception or dive into people's mind like the, like Inception. The music sounds amazing, and it seems like a it seems like one of those games that's gonna have that calm atmosphere, but a, a very deep story going on in the background, which you can see yourself in. So make sure you check that out when it comes to everything: Switch, PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, all of that. When it comes out January 19th. Of course, we can't forget one of my favorite series of all time. And I'm talking about Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden. Now, I'm gonna keep it honest with you. I really do wish that it was Persona 3 FES or Persona 3 Fez because my gripe with Persona 3 Portable is a, a lot of the animated cutscenes are gone and it's swapped with like pictures in the frame. And I just take, for me, that takes away from the story. So I still may play it. But while everybody's playing that one, I might just go back to playing the PlayStation 2 version because it still has more to offer in that game than it does the PSP version, except for the fact that you can play as a girl. But Persona 4 Golden is probably one of my favorite games. It has my favorite characters in the Persona series. Also, I think that soundtrack is up there with Persona 5 as one of the best. And Persona 4 was the reason that Persona 5 and everything else really got over here. Persona 4 was the start of the popularity of the Persona series and Persona 5 solidified it with how great it was. So if you're a Persona fan, you definitely got to check this one out. When it comes out January 19th on Switch, PC and everything else, Xbox, PS4, Series X, you know what time it is. Definitely get this because there's going to be hundreds of hours of gameplay. You can't say you ain't got nothing to do. But speaking of not having something to do, here go another long game for you can play, but one of the best strategy JRPG series of all time, Fire Emblem Engage comes out January 20th on the Switch. Fire Emblem is one of my favorite franchises as well. And I'm so happy to see that Fire Emblem is still kicking it. And we all wanted to see the follow up to Three Houses. But Fire Emblem Engage is doing something special and they're gonna have a bunch of past heroes and heroines from the older games as like these persona-like figures to help you empower you up. Of course, the strategy is gonna be there and the game looks great. It looks better than Three Houses and Three Houses looks good, but this game looks amazing. So you can tell that they worked on it. As they collect those Emblem Rings, you'll see them hard as the powers of all of the older heroes. And it's gonna be very interesting to see where the Fire Emblem series goes after this. But I can't wait for this one because this is another strategy JRPG game. It's gonna give you a lot of time and a lot of gameplay to keep you occupied until, until other big games come out. Our next game, I've already done a video on this one, Forspoken. Forspoken is coming out January 24th on the PS5 and I'm excited for this. We got a demo of the game that we got to play and the gameplay, the magic, the systems look cool and we didn't get everything in that demo, but it gave me enough to know what the game is gonna play like. Now, I just need the story to be good, but I know a lot of people were complaining about how it's talking, blah, 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 all that. I don't care about that. I love seeing people experiment with different types of heroes, especially people of color, especially women in gaming. We, we need more than just that regular brooding, blonde haired main hero that's just cold and cool. We need, we, need, we need something different, and I wanna see what this game does with the magic, the story. It's pretty much a set guy, Frey is thrown into a world from New York and it's gonna be cool. Now, if she getting on your nerve, there is an option that you can turn down a lot of that banner, so don't complain, just play the game. And if it's really bad, you know we are gonna let you know and I'm gonna let you know. But until then, January 24th, I'll be ready for it. I ain't even gonna lie to you, this next game, I'm definitely looking forward to. SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake. If you play Battle for Bikini Bob, you know that SpongeBob games are actually pretty good. The platforming, the creativity, the voice acting, all of it is there. And this game is gonna send SpongeBob and Patrick all through the time. So this is your own little multiverses or whatever you wanna call it, time travel game. And I just wanna see what TSQ can do with SpongeBob, Patrick Squibb and all of them in this series. I wanna see if SpongeBob still has that magic that they did back in the PS2 era. And they were dropping a bunch of really good PS2 SpongeBob SquarePants games. And I think this one will be no different. So definitely look forward to that when it comes out January 31st on PC, PS4, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Gotta show love for one more indie, which I played a demo for. And that game is Season, A Letter to the Future. And in this game, you play as a young woman from a secluded village exploring the world by bike for the first time. And she collects memories and she uses her camera and her 
recording a whole bunch of other things. It's like a, a, a very stimulating experience on your senses. The only thing you see and hear, the visuals are great, the music, the sounds, the game looks amazing for this for the art style that they chose to pick. And the gameplay features are like a, it's like a bicycle road trip. You are riding that bike into the mysterious world that you've never seen before and you meet a bunch of diverse characters that will change the course of your story. And like I said earlier, like the big gameplay loop for this one is documenting, photographing, and recording the memories and then unlocking the story by what you see and what you interact with. And when I played with the demo, it uses the adaptive triggers, happy feedback, and audio and loading times are great. So it's made for the PS5 and it'll be coming out January 31st for $29. So definitely check that one out. Also honorable mention and the reason I, you know, just saying honorable mention is because I don't like scary games, but I know a lot of people are looking forward to Dead Space coming out January 27th. And it's a remake and it's, it's you no, know, I'm good. I'm gonna stay away from it. You can look at the preview here and see why. I won't be playing it. I might watch somebody play it, but Dead Space was scary as hell back in the day. And I don't think I can put myself through that again. But if you like stuff like that, go ahead. Go make your run for it, do it. Another honorable mention is Monster Hunter will be coming to Xbox and PlayStation 5. And I believe a Kakarot update is coming for those folks who want to play that game. An update for next gen systems is coming. So that's another, you know, another game to look forward to or jump back into. All in all, I think January is starting off pretty nice for the year. We already know that we got a lot of big games coming for the year like Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Final Fantasy 16, Starfield, and even more. But January is already starting off with some dope indie games, some good games from companies we love, and some good Nintendo franchises, as well as some anime games, as well as some classic remakes and games that some people never got to play. So this will be a good month. Let me know what game you're excited for in the comment section. And let me know if I miss anything you want to see. I'll probably make some shorter videos or some YouTube shorts of other games that's coming out too, because there is a lot of indie games and a lot of other games coming out this month. But I'll do that separately. But other than that, I appreciate y'all for watching. Be looking forward to the next one in February, as well as some other videos of other games you should get coming soon as well. But that's all for me. Make sure you like and subscribe, and then comment what games you want to play. And bye-bye.